stop. Do not spend any pattern buffers until you have seen this video right here. Let's do it. Okay, so this video I'm just gonna dive right into. I just finished making this tool. It will be linked down below in the description, so check it out. What prompted this video specifically is that we are in the middle of that Strange New Worlds Part 3 end of the ARC event store. And for the first time ever that I know of anyways, but somebody can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, we have pattern buffers available in there. I know that we're coming to the end of the event, so those event store credits are really burning a hole in everybody's pockets. I knew that would be the case, so on my alts, uh, some other people have helped me. We have went and mapped out every single one of the missions you can get in the Hollow Deck right now, as of August 2022, from your Hollow Deck, so that you can spend your pattern buffers wisely. And honestly, there's not a lot in there that you really want to be spending your hard-earned event store credits on. But if you go ahead and check out the link in the description, you can see this entire spreadsheet. We've mapped out everything. There's links to stfc.space. Every step of the way, what the ships are that you're going to have to uh, stand up against, what type they are, how much you're going to have to donate. If you look on here, uh, everything that you're going to get. So right now, this is the Outlaws Part 1, which costs you 1,800 pattern buffers. This is just a glimpse of what is in here, but we have everything. So right now, this is the overview tab. It's really hard to see with my face over here, so I'll even move me down over this way. I'll be looking the wrong direction, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So over here, you can see this entire mission chain information. These are the original series, TOS part one and two. Those cost a thousand pattern buffers a piece. You can see what Scopely's recommended operations level four, all of those are. It's kind of funny because you can't actually build that hollow deck until you've hit operations level 15. I know because I just did it on an alt. And for some reason, some of these missions that you can get out of it are actually recommended for levels 11, 12, whatever. That's because that's the level that you had to be to be able to get that mission when those were first launched in the game. Remember, these are just kind of like relaunching old content. So all that I'm really going to get into here, like you can spend your stuff however you want to. You're capped at getting 5,000 of these pattern buffers out of the store right now per account, that is. If you are like a lot of other content creators and have a extra account or so sitting around that you use to go get some content off of, then things like this can come in handy because I was actually able to go pick up a lot of these. We did have some help from the amazing Black Half and 8 gaming community and crew. So thank them in the comments below. If you're getting any kind of use out of this, share this with everybody, anybody that you know of that might be remotely interested in getting pattern buffers, whether they're gonna go spend real money to get them out of the store, the web store, or if they are thinking about using their event store loot, that that very hard to come by event store loot to turn in for pattern buffers, send them to the spreadsheet so that they can go ahead and map them out. The issue with that is in the game, it doesn't tell you what mission, what the seed mission, what the very first mission in the chain that you're gonna get if you spend those pattern buffers are which is very frustrating. That's why we created this resource. You'll see here, this initial mission. Colin, you can go, you don't have to use the spreadsheet if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and right now, take a screenshot of this and there you go. This is all the missions that you might want to go look up on sdfc.space. This is what you get if you spend your bu pattern buffers right now in the game for them. Now, I will say there are some that are very clearly that you just really don't want to work on at all, that you do not want to spend it on. Uh, the captain's log for discovery is one of those. It's pretty bad. I, I would not spend anything on this if I were you. It's 500 pattern buffers. It's not a lot. A lot of people are getting 500 pattern buffers for free. I don't know that I had that. There's really not much that you're going to get out of here. Now, I will say this is one content creator's opinion. This is just looking at it from an efficiency standpoint. A lot of these aren't really worth their weight in pattern buffers, especially for the event store loot that you're going to have to get uh, to convert into those pattern buffers. However, there's a couple that are kind of nice that you can actually go take a crack at if you want to get some of the stuff out of there. That aside, the story missions, if you're very interested in the story, I personally am interested in the story. I don't try to tell everybody, hey, the story's great. Even if some of the stories aren't great, I still like to experience them, especially since I've only been playing this game since around like April of 2021. So I missed out a lot of this when it was like first coming around in the game anyways. So I love the fact that Scopely gave me a way to free to play source the pattern buffers so I could go check out these missions that I missed, especially things like the Borg and the Outlaws. That's really cool. So I'm glad that they're in the game. I'm not telling you don't ever spend on them, but I'm telling you that just go ahead and take a look at this and make sure that you know what you're getting for your very scarce loot. Or if you're going to go ahead and spend real money on it, we uh, estimated it would take like 140 bucks to go ahead and get uh, enough of those. I think it's seven of the $20 packs to go ahead and get enough pattern buffers to get everything out of the hollow deck as it stands right now, August 2022. But we don't want you to do that. That's that's why the community here banded together to go ahead and pick up these piecemeal so we could go ahead and stitch this whole thing together so that you guys would know what you're going to go ahead and get and pay for whenever you go ahead and buy stuff out of that hollow deck. 
So that said, looking at the tabs down here at the bottom, and if you do look at this overview page, if you do use this, if you go click on any of these here, this will link you to the appropriate tab. So if you wanted to go to TOS part one, this is everything in the TOS part one. And I will say, this is one of the ones I recommend that you do pick up. This is only 1000 pattern buffers. There's only one spot where you can actually make a decision to go this way or that way. However, if you complete everything in here, as long as you have a warp 24 capable ship that can beat a 55,452 power interceptor boss, then you should be able to make it through this story. You can go ahead and pick up 10 of the TOS James T. Kirk shards. That's why I recommend you go ahead and do this as guaranteed epic shards for TOS Kirk. He is not a show-stopping officer. He's not something that if you go ahead and pick him up, it's going to change your gameplay, but it's guaranteed 10 epic shards for one particular officer, especially if you're within 10 of unlocking him. This is kind of a no-brainer for you. Couple that with the fact that you do get a uh, you know, maybe a pool a little more than that, depending on if you want to go ahead. You can get up to two pools of the Ultra Recruit tokens if you wanted to. Uh, some Premium Recruit tokens, things like that. There's not anything amazingly overwhelming. This is one of the ones that I'm saying that you probably want to go ahead and pick up. If you're going to pick up any of these, then yeah, TOS Part 1, great because of those TOS uh, James T. Kirk shards there. Part 2, if you look at that, this is, this is why these are not created equal at all. This is still 1,000 pattern buffers, the same as Part 1 just a second ago. And you really don't get much of anything out of here. You get like 62 three-star uncommon or for the 15,000 of your event store elite you'd have to use right now to get 1,000 pattern buffers. Let's go check. We could go ahead and pull up the game right now and see if we were to, let me go ahead and recall this miner. If we were to go look in the event store, how much are we actually going to get for that uh, three-star uncommon ore? Which is what we got out of this so three-star uncommon ore it okay, is i had to fix something in the sheet right there it had this is 62 three-star uncommon ore that's not you have to choose one or the other we've merged that into it so it calculates correctly now you'll only get 31 three-star uncommon ore for doing this mission no matter which way you choose to go however you will get this whether you choose to do the service or the trade here in doomsday part or you will get 31 uncommon ore from it let's see if we got three of these packs we'd get 39 which is more than what we have in there of course yes we could do some of this math without pulling up this calculator but just to make sure that we're right while we're sitting here talking on camera here it's 3,000 of those times three so it's only 9,000 versus 15,000 to go ahead and just get the uncommon refined word not have to go through the hoops to go ahead and complete that mission yes there's some other things you can do yes it's kind of fun to complete the missions but just from an uncommon refined or standpoint just get the ore out of the store if that's something that you're actually like don't buy that mission just for the ore do it because you want to go enjoy that storyline, do it because there's other things in there, etc. So the Outlaws Part 1, Outlaws Part 2, those seem kind of interesting to me. You'll have to go ahead and actually look at because these are quite a bit of pattern buffers that actually cost to get it. It's 4,000 to go ahead and get both of these missions. They're pretty cool missions there as well. These Borg missions I'm actually really interested in, not because they have fantastic loot or anything, but because I just love the Borg stuff in the game. I can't get enough of it. What I'd love to do is toss the spreadsheet over to like Revduce or something and have him do a Smasher Pass type style video on every single one of these things out of the holodeck. I think that would be great and entertaining. I think that I trust his opinion and a lot of the people in the comments down below to tell you which one of these missions is actually really worth it for the pattern buffers, which ones aren't. But to me, the one that I would recommend pretty much everybody go ahead and pick up is a TOS Part 1 missions out of the holodeck. I just wanted to get this video out there before people started to burn through all of that event store loot that they have accrued over the entire month of August here. I didn't want you guys to spend any of that on pattern buffers, hoping you get something out of there that you don't, or at the very least, know what you're going to go ahead and spend them on if you still choose to spend them. That's it for me. You guys do what you want to do. Let me know in the comments below how you have enjoyed this month. I think it really turned around. I think that the content creators have done a fantastic job helping to steer the ship here. For me, it was actually really enjoyable. I got to cross off pretty much everything on my shopping list and I'm still going. Hopefully that has been the same experience for you guys as well. Choose to live, my friends, and we'll see you in the next one.